We reach here by 11 o'clock and then like we just came for cleaning like we we thought of open on Thursday so and then we me and my sister my own sister like we came here like we are almost done with the cleaning like after that then my sister like she's in the left uh, right side and I was in the left side I was near the gas cylinder only and then like it happened like it when it was that blast like my, my sister she just told me like it was a transformer so I said it, it was a gas cylinder like I was near the cylinder I just looked like I said no not the gas I said just come out and then it was like suffocated like that so we can't see anything like the distance is just like this only I can't see I can't see my sister also so I told my sister come out she said I can't I can't see anything she said just come out then I said you go you go out first I thought she can come from the main door but she said it's like it's not open anymore so I just like when I see her I just pull her out like that it was happen around maybe 1.30 because when I came out I just asked people what is the time they said 1.30 1.30 yes and also it stopped at 1.30 in my shop like 100 percent damage everything is damaged inside well, was there anyone that injured yeah, yes my own sister like she got injured from the hand and from the like so where, where is she now? Nazareth Hospital yes. how is the condition going now? like they are just checking now like we don't know yet because like if it's the gas also I don't think so like it will affect all this building like left right building you know it's just that there was a blast a very loud blast and the entire lime cra actually heard the blast so subsequent to the blast the first thing I did was I called to find out what this blast was then they said and I, I wanted to know where it was coming from so they said that it was from the market so I came to the location to find out firsthand but it looks like it's not an electronic uh, blast but likely it is a blast of some explosion now I cannot comment on the explosion till the police have given us their reports but surely it looks like it is uh, an external blast. It's, it, it could be something which was planted because the local residents uh, nearby were saying that, uh, you know, there was smoke coming out from what looked like a bag. But we don't know. We have no details. We have to wait for the police report and then only comment. In Lai Mukhra, yes. In Lai Mukhra, yes, this is the first time. And so uh, on behalf of the Dorbar we we definitely, definitely condemned this kind of uh, this kind of an act or an attempt uh, to maybe to scare people or to, you know to take away to 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 create uh, panic or to create some sort of uh, distress in the mind of the people we definitely condemn this I, I i just i just pray to god that they you know there is no other secondary device or anything and then lives will be should not should not be you know at, at, at jeopardy at this point. I had spoken to the to the families uh, in and around this area. The blast has, uh, had occurred. 
and I had advised them to please be vigilant, to please see that if you if you detect any kind of suspicious behavior, suspicious activity, suspicious movement, to please notify us and the police immediately. <laughs> A blast today had occurred at 1.30 p.m. here in Yeolat Mkhai in Shillong, in the heart of Shillong city. As you can see behind me, there's a scene there where uh, district administration and uh, uh, police personnel are on the job to ascertain the, uh, the reason behind the blast. Uh, however, uh, as per ground reports, there are splinters uh, spread around 50, uh, around 50 meters across the uh, blast site where people have found uh, splinters and uh, windows are being shattered. Um, it is yet to ascertain the, the reason behind the blast, whether it's because of a transformer. We'll give you more updates on this. This is Fernand Rani and Ground Zero for Northeast Today, Shillong.